Okay, so thank you, uh, thank you, Bill, and this is Dina. So um, we are consulting with uh, Bill at the Faculty of Arts, Humanity and Foreign Languages about uh, OM3, Authentic Assessment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at first, we just want to know um, how familiar are you with the Authentic Assessment? Yeah, if, yeah. If Authentic Assessment is the same as skill-based assessment. Yes, I use it a lot. Okay. So I don't assess their knowledge, I assess the use of the knowledge as a skill. Okay, so it seems like you're familiar a lot with mm. the authentic assessment, yeah. And how often do you use in class and can you give example? Uh, example like in year four, uh, semester two, we, we assess students on their teaching uh, practicum. So we assess mm. their performance if they, yeah, so to make sure yeah, they can yeah, teach yeah, as yeah, a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if yeah. you have applied any other on, on this? Well, as, as I was just saying, in year three, um, teaching critical thinking. Yes. So the students, as an assignment, had to research and then analyse the use of smartphones in education. Yeah. So as a result of their analysis of the information, what conclusion did they reach? Mm -hmm. And then they're presenting that next week. So they're using the skill of critical thinking rather than writing an essay saying yeah, what, yeah. what is critical so thinking. So traditional, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So we're assessing the skill, not the knowledge, the yeah, use yeah. of the skill. Yeah, the same like I'm doing for literature, mm -hmm. uh, Romeo and Juliet. Mm. Yeah, mm. I used to ask them to role play on mm. Romeo to make sure they can perform what mm. happened. Yeah, mm. yeah. And remember, we have debate. Yeah, yeah. yeah I used to debate to, every year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You did it every year. So yeah. So we're just about to start year two. Yeah. Yes. So you with year two because it's their first time. You just go very gently with them and the marking and what to do and give them a lot of time to practice. So they're going to be debating that the um, intercultural passport certificate mm -hmm. will help them find a job. All right, that sounds good, yeah? Yeah. But um, when you assess them, you have set any criteria or yeah, checklist? Yeah, I have set criteria to okay, assess the them checklist, again. yeah. Yeah, yeah. All so right. the organisation of their presentation, their use of non-verbal language, their whole... Um, sort of a, a, a tone of voice in, in how they communicate with the audience. Okay, yes. So they're, one thing is they're looking at the audience, they're yes. not looking at the screen, or something. <laughs> <laughs> they're not looking at the slides, so yes. how well they can present oh, it. That mm. looks good. But uh, do you give them feedback? After yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. So they learn a lot. But I use the old um, saying, give positive feedback publicly and feedback for improvement privately. Oh, okay. Ah, privately. So, yeah, so I'll make generic terms, like you could all learn a bit more about getting more variation into your tone and don't stand there and say, I am really excited to tell you about this subject. <laughs> if you're excited, sound excited. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Anything else that you try sounds like authentic assessment, like debate, role play, practicum, or what else? Um, have, you, have you used it? Getting them to try communicating in different languages, so especially with year two. Because that's the first time they've ever had a native English speaker. Okay. And I've also got um, some more foreign speakers coming. So uh -huh. we've got a, an Australian and an American coming. And we've got the only other foreigner in swearing. Steve mm, yeah. is coming to oh, teach them as well. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds nice. Hmm. Um, for me, I, yeah, for uh, year two semester one, but new semester, hmm. I will be teaching um, introduction to Asian. Hmm. So I just compile and prepare, but not yet. And hmm. one of the the assessment I'm gonna do for authentic assessment is hmm. I give them the final project. Hmm. I, I assign them into ten groups to hmm. represent each country and they will display somewhere mm. about each culture of their mm. own group. Mm. Yeah, this is part of my uh, uh, future mm. to, to 
uh, put in with the authentic assessment mm. to make it much more rather than a traditional assessment. Mm. How about you? Do you have any other plan? Or well, plan? He, at the moment, yeah. um, we've got four students who depart next week mm -hmm. are going to Bulgaria mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. for four weeks. So they're going wow. to experience a very different culture as part of cultural studies. Okay. And then in uh, July, myself and teacher Chivon are going to Poland. Oh. So, yeah. So oh, a project or personal? project. Uh, it's all under the Friends Erasmus project, so uh, they pay for everything. So, But it's it's that difference between talking about a different culture and culture shock and what that is and going out and experiencing it. Will you let the student who came back from Bulgaria to share what happened? Yeah, yeah, that's part of the deal. They have to come back and present. Okay because they're both the four students going will miss the midterm exams. So in lieu of the midterm exams, they're doing presentations okay. on their experiences. Do you give time for students to give feedback to each other? Sometimes? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing recently like uh, one present and another give the feedback. whole class give yeah, feedback. Yeah, yeah. What they have learned and what he should improve. Yeah. I do it one on one. So you present, I give feedback. They present, they give feedback. No, that is the whole class I want to I want yeah. them to share what they have learned from person mm. and mm. what their suggestions. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that that's it. What I uh, just want to find out uh, mm. how familiar because some other lecturer might never uh, do the authentic assessment. Mm. Because knowledge the, based assessment is yeah, comfortable, yeah. let's see. Only on the paper it's, assessment. Yeah, the yeah, paper yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay. Thank you for your Thank time. You. Thank you so much. Yeah.